All right, I've been at it quite a while, digging a lot of junk, but I just had something round pop out. Ooh, that's the back side of an Indian head. Well, I'm out again this morning, nice crisp morning. It's supposed to get uh, pretty warm today though, but I just got out here. Uh, I dug one ball jar lid and then I just had a real faint wispy signal and I saw something round come out of the ground. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, signal number two right away. What have we got? Oh, it's going to be a weedy. All right, let me clean it up, see what kind of date we got. Well, we got a date. It turns out to be a 1911. I'll clean it up better when I get home, but that's a nice way to start the day. Hopefully that's the way my day goes today. All right, let's keep going. Well, this particular area I'm in today, I found coins in it, so I told myself I'm going to start digging some nickel signals in here instead of just looking for high tones because I found dimes, barber dimes, Indian heads, wheaties. I just found a wheatie, but I just had a nice solid nickel uh, signal, so I dug it, and I just found a collar stud. Just like cufflinks back in the past, men wore collar studs in the buttonholes of their collars. I found two or three of these out here. This one had a little pattern on it. It looks like it had a shield on it. Half of it's gone. That's a pretty cool find. Nice little relic. All right, let's see what else we can find out here today. I'm going to be digging some nickel signals, so who knows what I'll come up with. All right, let's move on. All right, there's my next signal. An old toasted spoon. And it's about ready to fall apart, too. All right, let's keep looking. Well, I just had a nice high tone. I just saw something round. What have we got? Yeah, looks like another wheaty. Boy, where are all the Indian heads hiding? Let me get a date off this. I'll get back to you. Well, I tried, but I can't get a date off this one. It's pretty bad. 19, 19 maybe, 19, I don't know, 1918. Might have to wait till I get home and can look at it closer. All right, let's move on. Let's see if I can find some Indians or some Barber Dimes out here. All right. Well, there's my next target. It's a little tiny woman's compact type thing. It says Pompeian Day Cream Finishing or Vanishing. softens to beautify the skin and I can't read what's on the bottom but didn't want to open 
That's a different one. I found little compacts, these tiny little ones before out here. Little cosmetic deals. But this is a different brand that I've found in the past. All right, that's interesting. Not a coin though, so let's move on. Uh, here's what I'm hunting in today. A lot of scrubby stuff. But there's signals in here, so that's what we're up to today. I've found these before. I recognize this. This is number four of this exact same style car. They're old. They're heavy. They've got this convertible type top that flips up with the rumble type seat. It's missing the front end. But this is the fourth one of these I've found now. They don't have any markings as far as a maker, but they are definitely old. All right, let's move on. Well, there's my next target. Now, I've seen different variations of this same thing. And my best guess is that's like the burner off a gas light of some type or lantern or I'm guessing a light for an indoor house type deal that's just a guess but i've seen a lot of these similar to these this one's a little more ornate than <clears throat> some of them i've seen i'm just guessing kind of interesting looking though well there's my next target off a door jam got a little fancy on it though I like nowadays. Back in the day, they made everything fancy. That's cool. All right, let's keep going here. I'm still looking for some silver today. Well, there's my next find. Silver-plated spoon. This one's got like a grape pattern on it. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, it's pretty slow moving through some of this stuff, but, but this is where the goodies are hiding. And you get a lot of false signaling every time you bump one of these branches, so you got to learn to tell the false signals from the good ones. Yeah, well, I just popped out a fairly shallow piece of a pocket watch that was only an inch under the ground but there was right on some roots all right let's see if I can find some silver there's my next target I found one similar to well just like this back a while ago I'm guessing but I think it comes out of an accordion but I'm not positive on that Anyway, it's definitely a reed. All right, move on. Yeah, that's more like it. Recognize that one right away. Looks like you got an advertising thimble here. Pretty sure it's aluminum. Let me clean it off and uh, see if I can see what it says. Boy, I get a lot of these out here. Well, I didn't even have to do anything but rub my finger on it. I've got one of these already. It says cream of nut margarine. 
Now, I'm not quite sure what kind of nut they're using to make margarine, but that's what it is. I'm going to put that in with my collection of advertising symbols. I've got lots of them now. All right, let's keep going. Getting a pretty high tone right here. It's up there in that aluminum or silver range. Better dig this one. Well, that hole produced a real thick piece of blue glass <clears throat> and a fork. All right, let's keep going. Just about done out here for the day. And another spoon. It says silver plate on the back. All right, let's keep going. My next target is a little salt shaker lid. Nothing valuable. Let's keep going. All right. I've been at it quite a while. Digging a lot of junk. But I just had something round pop out. Ooh. That's the back side of an Indian head. Yep. Nice. Finally. Tired of digging Wheaties. All right, let me get the date. It looks like 1902, but I'll clean it up a little bit. All right, my day is complete. It is a 1902. I am happy. I was kind of heading out of here, hoping to find something along the way. Uh-oh, just had the first tick on me. Don't they know it's February? All right. That's a good find. I'm happy with that. All right, see if we can find any more on the way out. Well, there's my next target. Another silver plated spoon. All right, let's keep going. Well, my next signal is a little tag. I can't really see what it says on there. I'm guessing maybe an identification tag for a dog, maybe. I don't know. It's not a dog tag. It looks like it said something at one time. I don't know. Maybe when I clean it up better, I can... Uh, See what it says. Well, there's my first target for today. Big long milkshake spoon or soda fountain spoon, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's see if we can find some coins again today. Well, there's my next target. It's aluminum. It almost looks like a token. I'm going to take a brush to it, clean it up, see what's on it. I'll get back to you. Well, I got a little something off it. It says V. Spaporo. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then uh, 545 North Madison Street. I'm assuming that's Grand Rapids. On the other side, it says good for something in trade, but it's a little corroded in the middle. It almost looks like a two there. I'm wondering if it was 25 cents, maybe. Hard to tell. Maybe if I clean it a little more, but that's a cool find. Another token. To add to my many, many tokens. All right, let's keep going. All 
All right, there's my next target, and I'm pretty sure I know what that is. I'm pretty sure that is the internal part of a toy gyroscope. Little pin on each end. Yeah, I'm almost positive that's what that is. All right, let's keep looking. Well, there's my next target. A big heart with a couple holes in it. I don't see any writing or anything on it. Huh, that's kind of interesting. All right, let's keep going. All right, now, there's a cool find. I just found an old bell. Looks like it had some wire around the top of it. That's where the clapper was on the inside. But that is cool. Alright, that's probably going to be my find of the day right there. I'm not going to stay out here too long. i got a token now and now i got a bill. Way too cool. I'm going to have to clean this up up top and see what's going on there might just be wire wrapped around it all right nice find i like that all right gonna look a little more and i'm heading out of here well lately it's been a thimble a day this one doesn't have any advertisement on it. It just has a pattern around the base of it. Aluminum. Man, it's like I find one of these every time I come out now. I don't even know how many of them I got at home now. It's probably pushing 20 of them. Along with four silver ones. That is just crazy. I can't believe how many of these I'm finding. Well, just had a nice high tone, and I saw something round jump out of the hole. Let me clean it up. I think it's a weedy. Well, it's definitely a weedy, but I can't get a date off it right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one off this at home either. It's pretty bad shape. But... It's a coin nonetheless. Alright, let's keep going. Well, my next target is another hemweight. Found quite a few of these out here. Alright, I think I'm going to be heading in for the day. I got other things to do, so, see if I find anything on the way.